In this demonstration we're going to look at deploying and configuring a highly available file server. So in a previous demo what I did was I created a Windows Server 2012 two node cluster. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're just actually going to set up this highly available file server. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to server 4 which is one of the nodes in my cluster. We'll just close down this add roles and features and then what we're going to do is we're just going to add some roles and features to this server. So within the wizard we'll just select next. We are going to go for role based or feature based installation and select next. Then what we're going to do here is specify the destination and server to be launcherv4 and select next again. And then on our server roles what we want to do is we just want to come down to our file and storage services. What we then want to do is we just want to come into the file and iSCSI services. And what we want to do is we want to make this server a file server. Now we've done that, we'll select next. Won't bother with any additional features and select next. Then what we'll do at this point here is we'll select install. Now this is just going to go away and install the role. So at this point what we'll do is we'll pause the demonstration and return back once the role is installed. So as we can see we now have our file server in place. We'll just select close. And what we'll now do is we'll go to launserve 3 which is another node within my cluster. So on this on serve 3 what we can see here is I've got three disks in place and uh, what we can also see here as well if we just look down here I've got one set up as a cluster shared volume I've got some available storage on disk 3 and disk 1 is my disk witness in the quorum so what we're going to do at this point here is we're now going to actually configure our cluster role so as we can see in the cluster administrator I have a roles node so what we're going to do on the roles node here is we're just going to right click and we're just going to configure a role this then brings me into wizard so we'll select next and then what we want to do here is we want to create a highly available file server. So we'll select file server. Then what we'll do at this point here is we'll select next. On the file, on the file server type, we're going to go for a file server for general use. So we'll select next. Then what we want to do here is on the client access point, we just need to give this a name. And we also need to specify an IP address. I'm going to call this a datumfs and I'm going to give an IP address of 172.16.0.130. We'll select next at this point here. What we'll do is we'll just select our cluster disk 3 and select next. Then on the confirmation we'll just make sure everything is correct and select next. As we can see it's now configuring my high availability. Fairly quick. And at that point there, we'll now select finish. And what we've done there is we've now created this highly available file server cluster role. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just come up to our roles node. And what we can see is we now have our date and file server. We can see it's running. We can see it's a file server. We can see the owner node. So we can see that the service is currently running on LonServ 4. So let's just move up to LonServ 4. Let's just go to our tools. And let's just go to our failover cluster manager. And as we can see, DMFS. So let's just right click on our server here. And what we'll do at this point here is we'll just add a file share to our actual cluster role. And the little wizard here, what we're going to do is just for the profile, we'll go for an SMB share quick. We'll select next. What we need to do now is just specify our share location. And what we'll do at this point here is we'll just go with the default and select next. What we need to do now is just put in our share name. And what we'll do here is we'll call that docs. So as we can see here we've got backslash backslash datemfs backslash docs. Actually going to go on to g colon backslash share backslash docs and select next. Just in the case of the other settings we're not going to bother with uh, access based enumeration. We will enable continuous availability. We will allow caching of the share and we won't encrypt the data at this point and select next. As this is just a demo, I'm just going to leave the default permissions. Then what we'll do here is have a quick read through the summary and click create. Then click close. And what we've done there is we've actually managed our highly available file server role through the cluster manager. And that's the end of this demonstration of creating a highly available file server in Windows Server 2012 cluster. Thank you.